five seconds remaining. Alchemist! First blood! First fight! under attack. You cast no shadow now. Dyer's drop. He's still got a bottle and a magic wand that he's always going to be holding, so this is not that big of a hurt here. Gank coming up on Bristleback. Just look at that. CDC, we're just there in the top lane trying to help the Bristleback and go for the gank, but as soon as they've left, now XT is left open for a pickoff, and Team Secret take full advantage. Look at that opportunity. Bird are showing up to try to help, but it's just not going to be much. They do have the rotation, though. EMP and a cold snap ready. Yeah, Gretzheath is here as well. The ultimate goes down. Shalgrave actually saves himself. Will be good for the time being. Highlight Die actually going down to the side. Q actually hit by the nuke from Weeha. With the Solar Crest on top, that brings him down to half HP. Misery commits for the uh, kill on Gretzheath. Will be able to pick it up. Misery's now going to run down another hero, potentially, but... Cheeky and Garter, just a bit too fast. What a huge kill. Brute Mother just solo killing a tug. <laughs> so, uh, what does that leave with our Queen of Pain? Yes, you already have the Orchid on the Invoker. Do you uh, just go for the typical Axe and just yeah. try and counter the Brute Mother with that? Yeah, I would have said Axe as well, even though here it is. Just, uh, just extra burst damage, Lord Cooldown. Puppy again gonna get the Grave off. He doesn't have a TP though, so surely he dies this time. His team's coming to back him up though. Maybe oh, give him a sleep. Pi, he's gonna go for the sleep on oh, the Invoker, but the right click is still there. And Shiki will manage to get out underneath the Acid Spray. Wakes him back up. Gets off the Ghost Walk. The dust is on him, but it doesn't seem to matter. He's still fast enough to stay ahead of these heroes. The dust will eventually run out. Meanwhile, Misery actually catching Garter as well. Misery is just tearing this game up as the Brood Mother. And now Brood, well, he's going to be hit by the Shatter Strike, but he's already clear enough from Aggressive that he can't commit for the kill. He's, he's 5 0 0 right now, and all he uh, popped that 10k marker by 20 minutes on two different bottom lane. They're going to go on the Necrophos. They try to catch him out. They bring through a lot of his mana, but again, the rotations are there. And Shiki slowed down a bit. Wing still has his chemical rage. He wants to try and force something. Uh, meanwhile, in the middle lane, Pila dies. Sleep goes out. Q can't really catch up to that. Just wakes up XE, and that might be enough. He does still have a Fiend's Grip and a Brain Sap as well, but he doesn't really want to commit the Fiend's Grip. There's just no one around from the Team Circuit that can save him. The team He's already came out to bottom lane. Yeah, good attempt by him. It does make a little bit of weight. Plate now picked up. Do you think that's uh, the the right choice though? I mean, he's still. Oh, Gardner is going to be in some serious trouble. He's gone. Fiend trip, and Weeha throws out the nuke in an attempt to take the last hit, but it's actually Misery who snags it right out from underneath him, and that'll beat the tier two tower as well. Such a smart game there. Uh, they basically said, let's get a kill that will also get us a tower right afterwards. And because the creep wave is pushed up, they smoke for that one. Yeah, very, very smart, smart smoke. If it was just a bounty kill, it's like, yeah, that's all right, I guess. But getting the tower as well, it's going to create more pressure for misery and uh, open up more possibilities for them killing heroes. Yes. Misery has 2,600 gold right now in the bank. So he's going to be looking for that next item. Eternal Levy, probably going to be going for that Rod of Atos build that we have seen a lot of Necrophosis. It's really good. Uh, his mana pool, especially against EMP, has been a huge problem. Highlight, I in trouble. Yeah, he's just going to be... Oh my goodness! 
CDC, you could see the frustration there of not being able to kill many of these heroes. There's always, you know, some sort of Bane defense. A very, very easy dodge for him. CDC, no, they have to continue. Just because they failed one gank doesn't mean they can give up just yet. So they head right into the middle lane and going for Pylite Dive, but immediately the sounds right after Fiend's Grave from Pi is dead. He only expected one hero, but it turned out to be two. A Fisher goes out on Eternal MB to make sure there's little pursuit from him. You gotta be careful though, he has the Blink Dagger Q, and oh, the Reaper Sight comes out. It may not finish him, but the right click does the trick. And fortunately, our Earthshaker's only down for 30 seconds, but still, another kill for EE. And they that's simply it. 27 minutes in, and once again, CDC have taken practically zero towers, only tier one bottom. Garter's gonna get picked off here, right in the river. Fiend's grip, and actually will stay alive thanks to the mech, but the new comes in from Weeha, that ensures the kill. He's quite tanky. Good for him. <laughs> but he still died. <laughs> yeah, in the end, it's still the big physical damage nuke from Unstable Concoction, mixed with the aggressive, like, the offensive of Solar Crest. Just does so much damage. Envy's Eternal, Eternal Envy, Envy, by the way. Yeah, he is really, really separated. He does have that Aegis, so he's going to lose that right away. The rest of his team will be here for the second line. They're going to have to sleep. Shiki is going to be the stun target here. XD pops his BKB, but they're just ignoring him. Now Weeha goes for the fight, but they've locked out Aggressive. See if he managed to get the blink and TP out. The rest of the team of CDC will also get away, but Misery, they have to deal with him. He's pushing down the tier 3 tower. He doesn't really care too much about XD. He'll finish off the tower and stay away from XD, who he knows doesn't have any vision. So, uh, how hard is it to hit Alchemist when he's got a, a Halberd, a Solar Crest, and the Radiance is hitting you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, compared, comparing that to an MKB, they might kill Weeha here. Oh, no blink he's away. Gonna use that item that he had for a long time. Like, the Deso helps him kill the supports, I guess. Like, Pi as well as Dazzle are going to be the reasons that, that this Deso is good. Yeah, you'll see Pi Light Eye drop real quickly here. Echo Slam jump in. They're going to try and pop Hobby, and they will be successful. Lee, he's going to be stunned by himself as well. Great use of the Orchid. And they finish him off, and finally, CDC get themselves a winning team fight. Uh, it would start off perfectly. Go on the supports. The supports try all right now. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me. Eternal Envy's going to go oh, down. Oh, my God. The Desolator plus the DD. They just rip Eternal Envy a new one, and he's gone. All of a sudden, CDC are in such a better position. I mean, just that gold change alone from... Yeah, it just, like, four-shot him. And he's gone this, like, team fight, really, really safe build. But I feel like maybe Secret should have been more aggressive with their items. Oh, wow. Jesus. Look at that. Minus armor plus the Shadow Wave and the Crisis. Oh, man. he They don't have very good catch but they definitely have decent farm and have a lot better pressure on the map. Weeha actually has 3k on him. Is it worth going for another? Oh, jump over. They're going to be able to get Garter here. Quick kill. There's the Agonims. And now the Bounty Hunter's down for 75 seconds. That is not the worst thing in the world for CDC. I mean, if anybody's got your damage items, so. Yeah. And he also can't even afford the mana, unless he gets a kill with his first reboot. Oh, he gets hexed here. Yeah, this is going to be a great pick off, especially if they can get it two times in a row. He's gone once. Q, is he going to run into these supports? Blinks over to the side, knows he needs to get some chains done. Actually goes for Puppy, locks Weeha inside of the trees. Boy Staff gets him over, but he's already okay, stunned he's himself. Done. They're just going to right click him down. A big meteor lands on his head, the HP region. He's staying alive through all this one, but finally he goes down. A Reaper Scythe takes out Aggressive, but Eternal Levy is going to be hunted down. Down by Shiki, Q's on top of him as well, chain stunned down to Turtle Levy as best they can, pops another BKB, starts getting away, Shiki, we will go down to the Radiance, and now Q being chased away by Eternal Levy, who's still sitting at 900 HP, XD desperately trying to catch up to that big carry, and see if he can take him out before Fissery right clicks him down, they need a little bit more, the Fisher takes him out, Garter trying to get away, but turned into Spider Lake's Fissery, trying to get into the trees, hide himself from XD, but the Bristleback, he's like a bloodhound, he just knows where he's going, a smoke from Pylon Die. You're not getting away. XZ is going to be able to catch up. No, sleep and he TPs out. Wakes up, but there's no chance for the rest of the kill. CDC. They barely managed to win the fight, especially with that Aegis on Eternal MP. Oh, that gold change. That's turned into a Silver Edge. Yeah, it wouldn't cost him much. 900 gold. I think that's easily what he should do here. The HP is the same. He can initiate with it as well. Maybe sell Blink. They're trying to snipe the Courier. It just has support stuff on it, but... I like these spreading spiders, this is really good, but they are smoked. See, This is gonna be awkward, their smoke starts popping with Misery in the trees, but they're already going to Pylai Dine, gets a four staff some distance away, the Fisher kind of misses, they're gonna try and pop Misery, and they may they be successful, but Weeha's right on top of all these heroes, Garter just barely lives through the center, oh, but Shiki, holy cow, the physical damage is real, he just falls apart, XZ, now on his way out, trying to stay ahead of these heroes, he cannot possibly get caught by Eternal Envy, and that second Reaper's size, but it looks like it's gonna happen, he's gonna go down, and he's oh, dead, man. For two minutes.
straight. This is what we're talking about. The late game potential of the Reaper Scythe with an Aghanim's upgrade. And Team Secret may have just won game two flat out from there. Shiki just hasn't translated good enough into the late game as a core. You, you really saw it there. He got stunned once, boom, four shot and he dies. He's trying his best to slow things down. He's got decent levels, but... There's two dead heroes, and they're out for 50 seconds. This is easily a triple rack. Oh, well, Misery is maybe a little bit too far from his team. It's going to take some damage, but that's fine. The rest of the team's here. All grouped up now. Ready to take it out. The second lane of rags go straight for top. I really felt like they could have just gone straight thrown, but they're going to go the safer route of Mega Creeps and force out that GG from CDC. Good game to them. That's all it took. That was the danger of the Reaper side. As soon as you catch some heroes, they're dead forever and the game ends. Like, CDC got so far there despite the disadvantage, and they played amazing, but it just wasn't enough there. Really great read by Team Secret going into that team fight with them, the way that Misery was in the trees, spreading out yep. those vitalings, as you pointed out.